अंबिला Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. If you looked at the intro, you would have seen that this video is about our much mocked motorbikes go where ambulances can not. Now this is in relation to the 100 side carted motorcycle ambulances that were recently bought by the Eastern Cape Health Ministry. Now the aim of these motorbikes are to reach patients that are in rural areas. who cannot be reached by normal ambulances right now the first thing about that is um why bother with motor bikes if you could have just built roads you had a very long time to do so you never bothered and now this will have to suffice right let's look deep rural areas of the eastern cape where pa- patients have to travel on foot or be transported on wheelbarrows to access healthcare So the newly unveiled medical motor bikes will be utilized says the health ministry right and if you look at the picture here um i think i'd feel much safer in a wheelbarrow to be honest this looks absolutely horrible government on friday unveiled 100 of the specially adapted motor bikes which can ferry patients either seated or lying down and are covered to ensure they are waterproof right Now if you look at this little mesh covering here it looks more like something that you would have on your patio um or on your stoop it looks like shade netting that you can get from any hardware to be honest but anyway they have been called baby prams on social media and people are quick querying the type of care that would be delivered by the personnel and whether they would be able to traverse Transkei road and as this is south africa questions were also raised over the cost of the vehicles and to who the tender was awarded yes fair questions asked right acknowledging this the health ministry said in a statement we have received backlash from the public we will an interesting quote in this times live article it's a quote from the ministry where someone says This model has been highly successful in countries like Cuba. Now I do not understand why Cuba has to be used as an example. If you look at the website of the manufacturer E-Ranger, you will see that most of these bikes are being used in Africa itself. And if you want to compare the situation in South Africa, Why not use Africa as an example? Why use Cuba? Um, I don't understand if the I don't know if the government are striving to be like Cuba, Cuba, or if they see Cuba as a benchmark of how healthcare should be, or of a way to govern your country, which it obviously isn't. It's easy to find an example of where. South Africa have managed to emulate their Cuban counterparts when it comes to healthcare. Here is an example of where South Africa have followed Cuba's example. In 2010, 26 mental health patients died while in a psychiatric facility in Cuba due to cold, due to exposure and If that is any example to follow then South Africa managed to follow that example with the life is a domain tragedy where we went one better and 144 mental health care patients died because of exposure so if you are following Cuba then yeah then you're doing a very good job um, you're actually beating them at their own game So let's get back to our motorcycle scooter. Our Dr. William Kiese, the Minister of Health in South Africa, tweeted, "Today we launched a scooter project in Eastern Cape. These multi-purpose units are extremely versatile and can transport patients or deliver medic medication in rural communities." Right, that's happened on the 12th of June. Right, so let's have a look. There's a little video of him testing it. And let's look at some of the comments. 
infrastructure like an ambulance maybe. Imagine it's raining, you're dying of COVID and you are a passenger on a scooter. Then village girl says, and you must still have the strength to hold on to those handles. Itemba Lamakeza says, instead of getting 10 bikes, why not at least five ambulances? The logic of our politicians is unexplicable. Zipozonke. And Dom says, I would love to see the tender for that. So yeah, um, you can look at the Twitter thread yourself. Very few people are actually praising the minister or the government for this. The ANC government is an embarrassment. Who got a tender to supply this scooter? So yeah, it's not looking good. Are there even nurses, these scooter drivers? And that's a valid point because not only should you be a healthcare practitioner or a healthcare technician, um, like a paramedic or a nurse or a doctor, and then you must learn how to ride a motorcycle in a rural area. So Eastern Cape Health MEC Sintizwe Gomba said at the launch of the project, the motorbikes were being introduced because for far too long, we had the challenge of our ambulances that could not get to people in far-flung rural areas. Again, as I said earlier, this could have been avoided by just building roads, providing the proper infrastructure before you need to go and buy a hundred motorcycles. Gumba also called on communities to defend healthcare personnel from criminals. Right. So in South Africa, ambulances are being hijacked quite regularly. What chance do you think someone on a motorcycle has? A motorcycle with medical supplies in or on it and it's one person most of the time it will be one person and that person isn't shielded from the element how long before these motorbikes are just standing somewhere um, rusting up or gathering dust how long before they break and they never get fixed how long before they are scrapped and found in a township somewhere um, will the drivers be safe are the patients safe a legitimate question that needs to be asked is how much did these motorcycle ambulances actually cost the South African government? A few people on Twitter have asked, you know, who got the tender? How much would it be? Couldn't we have just bought traditional ambulances or whatever the case may be? Now, as the government have not disclosed the cost or the price of a motorcycle, you have to find it out for yourself. And the only way or the only place where you get any indication of the selling price of one of these motorcycles was on engineeringforchange.org um, after they featured the e-ranger company and they've determined that each of these motorcycles will cost about 5,900 US dollars to manufacture. This does not include shipping well, shipping shouldn't be an issue as the motorcycles are manufactured in the Eastern Cape and they will be used in the Eastern Cape. I would however not be surprised if uh, shipping was included just to make the tender a bit fatter. Well, that's speculation but given the track record in South Africa and the way um, tenders work in South Africa that wouldn't be any surprise. Right, so 5,900 US dollars per motorcycle. Now, how, what is that in rands? Let's have a quick look. So, at the time of recording, one dollar was worth 17 rand 14, and that means that for each motorcycle, the government would have paid 101,098 rand and 86 cents. You multiply that by a hundred it cost the government over 10 million to procure these motorcycles now I do understand that that is much cheaper than um, what ambulances would cost and it is cheaper than building a road but then again these roads could have been built years ago so it's most probably still a waste of money where taxpayers' money have been wasted on unnecessary expenditures and 
whether this will be a success or not. If we look at the ANC government's track record over the last few years, I'm sure not, not a lot of us have any hope of this being implemented successfully. And this brings us to the word of the day. Hi, I'm Mary from Sesame Street, and I'm looking for the word on the street. What's the word on the street? It's incompetence. Incompetence. Now, the lack of ability to do something successfully or as it should be done. Used in a sentence, management have demonstrated almost unbelievable incompetence in their handling of the dispute. Allegations or accusations of incompetence. Or, could the Eastern Cape scooter ambulances be just another example of the ANC government's incompetence? Incompetence, the opposite of competence. And with that, I bid you goodbye. If you liked the video, you found it informative, please hit the subscribe or like button. And if you want to start a conversation, feel free to make a comment and stay beefy.